بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ہوپ فل یو آر ویل اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل دس از می مسٹر دولت خان یو آر میتھمیٹیکل ماڈلنگ انسٹرکٹر ٹوڈے وی ڈسکس لیکچر نمبر تھرٹین وچ کور ویک نمبر تھرٹین کورس اینڈ دا ٹاپک از دا میتھمیٹیکل ماڈلنگ آف اسٹریم لائن فلو سو لیٹس بگن ٹوڈے ٹاپکس بفور بگننگ دا ٹاپک Uh, as usual, if you have any problem regarding this lecture, you can feel free to contact us on our WhatsApp group for short queries and for your long queries, you can call us on our Zoom ID. So let's begin the topic. Uh, as we uh, uh, studied the streamline flow, so we must know the uh, basic definition, which is a uh, like fluid so first of all we start from the basic which is fluid uh, a fluid is a substance that deform continuously under the application of shear stress tangential stress no matter how small or large the shear stress uh, it's mean uh, if we have some phenomena if we have some substance and we apply a shear stress we apply the uh, some force uh, which uh, in this case we call them shear stress uh, and it deform continuously okay uh, it deform continuously uh, so this phenomena is known as a fluid example of fluids are water milk oil gm lipstick etc and uh, uh, fluid uh, gases and are also uh, so okay okay uh, so this is the definition of fluid now what is mean by stress force per unit area is called stress okay uh, that is f- pressure uh, if uh, in the solid particle we call them pressure but for the uh, uh, fluid uh, we call them uh, stress it is denoted by ta it is denoted by ta it has two type shear stress tangential stress and normal stress so uh, shear stress tangent component of force per unit area is called shear stress okay the tangent component if we if we have uh, like this is a flow and align a force which is tangent to this one so this is called the shear stress okay and the normal stress mean uh, the normal component of a force per unit area is called normal stress and a force which is normal to this one is known as a normal stress okay so types of forces uh, uh, there are two types of forces uh, the first one is surface forces and the second one is body forces uh, what is mean by surface forces all the forces acting on the boundary of medium through direct contact are force per unit area is called surface force as the surface force is due to the surrounding fluid on the element under consideration the example pressure and stress is that is that etc okay and the body forces are all the forces developed without physical contact okay uh, the surface for mean a force which we uh, produce uh, uh yeah which we can get uh, by forcing acting on a boundary or uh, boundary of a medium through direct contact uh, which we contact uh, okay uh, so they uh, these forces are called surface and the board and the body forces are those forces which d- d- develop without physical contact uh, Uh, our force per unit volume element of a body is called body force the forces uh, and the body forces are distributed throughout the volume of the body example gravitational force magnetic field etc so uh, uh, if a phenomenon in which the fluid is a uh, flow so uh, the gravitational force is acting on each particle of the fluid so it mean that is and and uh, which is without physical contact okay and th- this force is uh, developed without physical contact uh, so that's we say them a uh, body forces and uh, 
mm, there are uh, more body forces as well as like magnetic field and so on. Okay, element. Element is a part of substance that has all the specific of that substance. Types of, okay, the, um, uh, mainly we do, uh, divided the fluid into main two types. Uh, the one is Newtonian and the other was non-Newtonian fluid. Uh, if fluid satisfies the Newton's of viscosity, is called Newtonian fluid, otherwise called non-Newtonian fluid. Otherwise, if, uh, if a a fluid satisfy it does not satisfy the Newton law of viscosity, we call them non-Newton fluid. And uh, those fluid which satisfy the Newton law of viscosity, we call uh, them Newtonian fluid. And uh, what is mean by the Newton law of viscosity? The shear stress is directly proportional to the deformation rate. Okay, uh, it means if we apply the shear stress, it deform continuously. It uh, directly, uh, uh, sorry, directly propor uh, proportional to the deformation mm, rate. This noun is a uh, uh, Newton law of viscosity. And uh, uh, tau is equal, uh, if, we, uh, if we convert this proportionality into equality, we put uh, an, uh, e uh, a constant in this case, uh, in this case, uh, sorry, cancel out. In this case, in this case, mu is a constant of proportionality, okay? And this is the uh, dynamic viscosity of the fluid. Uh, flow. Uh, the fluid and flow are, are two different phenomena, okay? So you must know about the flow. The quantity of fluid passing through a point per unit time is called flow. Uh, if mean, look, at this is a, a pipe uh, or any uh, a area in which the fluid is passing and we consider a unit area like this one. So how many fluid passing through this unit area, uh, sorry, how many uh, uh, fluid is passing through this area per unit time? Through this area per unit time, we know as the, the flow, okay? Uh, and what is mean by density mass per unit volume is called density and viscosity of the fluid is defined as a, it is the measure of resistance amongst the motion of fluid it is denoted by mu this is the viscosity uh, and it is also called absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity and what is mean by kinematic viscosity it is the ratio of absolute viscosity and density the ratio between the viscosity and density is known as a kinematic viscosity. It is denoted by eta or some books in it is denoted by a nu like this one. Okay. So compressibility. A compressibility is the measure of change in fluid with respect to volume and density under the action of external forces. If it's mean uh, if we have some fluid uh, and we uh, we apply the external forces, so uh, maybe it compress or not. Uh, it uh, the uh, the volume of the given uh, fluid is change or not. If the volume is change, uh, if the then we say that this is a compressible fluid, and if the volume is not change under the action of external force, then we call them incompressible fluid. So a uh, compressible fluid, a type of fluid in which change occur due to volume and density change by the action of pressure, okay? And this action of pressure may be uh, temperature or other uh, and, uh, other pressure. It's called compressible fluid, for example, gases, okay? And an incompressible fluid, a uh, type of fluid in which no change occur due to volume and density change by the action of pressure maybe this pressure is temperature is called incompressible fluid okay and now we have another uh, types of fluid which is the ideal fluid a fluid that have zero viscosity and incompressible is called ideal fluid uh, this is not possible but that we say that the ideal fluid and incompressible and in viscous fluid are called ideal fluid okay what is mean by viscous fluid 
fruit date have no zero viscosity or finite viscosity and can exert shear stress on the surface is called viscous fluid or real fluid okay and in viscous fluid fluid having zero viscosity uh, is called in viscous fluid okay and uh, other than we have two type of flow uh, the one is steady flow and the other one is unsteady flow a type of flow in which velocity of any other fluid property does not change with the time look at if this is rho uh, the rho of the fluid uh, the density of the fluid with respect to time is not changed it means same equal to zero uh, the pressure uh, uh, with respect to time uh, the pressure yeah the shear stress on the fluid with respect to time is equal to zero and the velocity of the fluid with respect to time is equal to zero so such kind of fluid is known as steady fluid and the uh, unsteady flow mean uh, a type of flow in which velocity of any other fluid property with change with time okay uh, density pressure and velocity with respect to time is changed not equal to zero not constant so this is known as unsteady flow okay uh, and uh, the third one is rotational flow a type of flow in which fluid particles rotate about their own axis is called rotation or rotative flow if we fix a point uh, um, uh, and the flu uh, and the particle of the fluid is rotating about uh, their point uh, yeah if we call them uh, uh, their own axis is called rotational or rotative flow and the uh, 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 and the other hand uh, a rotational flow a type of flow in which fluid particle does not rotate about their own axis is called a rotational flow okay uh, but uh, this is some uh, basic definition which is uh, um, regarding to the flow or the fluid okay and basic definition and now our main topic is the streamline and the equation of streamline so the imaginary uh, line draw in the fluid where the velocity along the tangent where the velocity along the tangent is known as a streamline okay uh, uh, i show you in a figure like this one look at this one uh, okay look here. uh this is the uh, streamline and it show the direction of a single particle of a, a fluid okay if we take a um, small particle of fluid uh, and we uh, concentrate uh, the motion of that particle uh, that small piece of fluid uh, and uh, and we draw uh, and for the representation of their uh, flow for the representation of their movement we draw a line uh, so that's called a, a streamline okay this is for liminal flow and this is for the turbulent flow. The liminal flow mean that uh, they have no turbulency. Okay, if make quick changes in uh, if, uh, if a particle is moving it's in a parallel, uh, if the all particles are parallel to each other, uh, it's called liminal flow. And if the particle is not parallel uh, throughout the flow, it's called turbulent flow. Okay. So stream line, uh, we call them streamline or streamline flow. Streamline flow is fluid in is defined as the flow in which the fluid flow in parallel layers, such that there is no disturb, the um, dis disruption or inter intermixing of the layer of the layer layers, uh, and at a given point, the velocity of each fluid particle passing by remain constant with time okay so that's called a uh, streamline flow okay look at this one uh, 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 this is the uh, uh, streamline for uh, uh, liminal flow for uh, flow flow and this one is for the turbulent flow look at up to this point the particle is uh, liminal but after that point the particle uh, uh, has occurred the turbulence okay so now let's begin the uh, uh, differential equation for streamline 
or stream flow okay as we know that the stream line is a curve drawn in the fluid so their tangent at each point is in the direction of motion okay uh, i will show you look at this one agar ye hamare paas koi bhi stream line hai na maybe this is mm, for liminal or for टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ओके सो इसके हर पॉइंट पर अगर हम एक पॉइंट ले लें तो उस पर जो टेंजेंट लाइन होता है तो इट शोज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फिलोसफी ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल इफ यू लुक इट दिस वन इज द पार्टिकल एंड दिस वन इज द पाथ इन विच इन विच दिस पार्टिकल विल बी मूव बट इफ यू स्टडी इन दिस पॉइंट सो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द Uh, the direction of this particle will be the tangent to the curve okay and if this particle is uh, is steady in this point uh, so in this point we draw a tangent line so now the uh, direction of particle will be in this direction and and similarly if this point in if in this point uh, we study the same particle so the direction of the uh, particle will be in this direction which is tangent to the uh, given curve which is tangent to the given stream line so that we say that uh, so that tangent at each point is in the direction of motion okay that is fluid velocity at a point and that mean uh, we in this point we uh, basically consider uh, the velocity of the fluid but uh, and uh, not for the large amount of fluid um, uh, we uh, consider for a small piece of fluid okay uh, let uh, let suppose pr where r is equal to uh, x i y i and z i the position vector of the point p okay now uh, this is p and this is point p we can say that this point p so uh, Uh, r is the position vector of the point p on stream line and let q be the fluid velocity let q be the fluid velocity is q ko humne us point pe fluid velocity kaha and this is also the tangent line uh, so uh, r uh, in other word tangent vector so this is uh, th it has a uh, i j and k components okay velocity so velocity and point p or if the both are parallel where dr is equal to this one therefore equation of stream line will be q velocity and will uh, the velocity of the particle with cross product of dr okay the uh, dr mean the change the change in the position vector because if we if you move this look at this one i will show you uh, if we, this is an x axis so this is basically the position vector so if uh, the particle is move continuously so it mean the change occur if look at uh, if the particle is move from this point to this point so now uh, in this point uh, uh, in this point uh, the, uh, the components of this uh, the initial uh, vector position vector should be changed into dx dy and dz okay so that is mean that a change is occur in the position vector so this dr basically the change uh, in the position vector r and uh, both are uh, both quantities are uh, vector quantities so we uh, find the product uh, the cross product in equal to 0 uh, okay cross product find karte hain so i j k and the components of q will be u v w and the component of dr is a dx dy and dx and equal to 0 the determinant is ka determinant of find karenge so you will get uh, like this one okay uh, look at uh, we expand with respect to the first row so for the i uh, we have v w dy dz and for j we have u w and dx dz and for k we have u v and dx dy equal to 0 okay now expand uh, this uh, 
determinant v multiply with dz minus w dy i and uh, u dz minus w dx uh, into j and u dy minus v dx uh, into k equal to zero now this zero uh, we can write uh, as your vector uh, in the form of uh, 3d so 0 i plus 0 j and 0 k and now and this could be how next are like a case for positive banalia so how many are say minus common lelia so it give us w dx minus u dz okay this case your sign have a change away or that's the sign is also change uh, from negative to positive okay by comparing on both side we get this one is equal to zero the second one is also equal to zero uh, sorry and the third one is also equal to zero okay so we get these three equation now from equation one uh, equation one hey v d z minus w d y equal to zero is uh, side for shift curly w d y and uh, v quest side for w quest side for shift curly we get dz by w equal to dy by v and we call them steric one equation okay uh, and from equation number two we have w dx minus u dz equal to zero uh, shift this u dz term on the right side which is u dz and uh, after that we get uh, if we uh, shift this u on left side and w on right side we get dx by u equal to dz by w which uh, we call them static 2 and similarly from equation number 3 we get dy by v equal to dx by u and we call them static 3 and now from equation static 1 static 2 and static 3 we get uh, dx by u equal to dy by v equal to dz by w how look at if we take from this one dx by u look at dx by u is equal to what dy by v look at dx by u is equal to dy by v now look at the value of dy uh, okay and also dx by u is equal to dz by w also from steric 2 uh, dx by u is equal to dz by w and from steric 1 dz by w is equal to dv by dy by v so dz by w is equal to dy by v so from uh, the about three equation we can get this equation and this equation is represent uh, the streamline equation okay and uh, this is the streamline equation for uh, the flow in three dimension uh, okay and if uh, the flow uh, in two dimension so we have just this one will be the streamline equation okay now this one is example one find the equation of uh, streamline where q is equal to this one yeah is ki jaga hum v bhi likh sakte hain q bhi likh sakte both are represent the velocity of the uh, particle yeah velocity of the fluid okay so given that uh, q is equal to x square minus y i plus x square plus y z j and plus y z square k comparing with the uh, uh, the general form of Q which is uh, equal to u i plus v j plus w k so we get the value of u is equal to this one the value of u is equal to this one and the value of w is equal to y z square as we know that the equation of the streamline which we already uh, derived that is equal to dx by u equal to dy by y v and dz by w okay putting value we get uh, u if you put the value of u v and w so we get dx by x square minus y dy by x square plus y z and dz by y z square okay now this is a differential equation okay we can solve this differential equation so we get uh, the streamline equation but in this case okay uh, in example two in example two look at what is example two state that a uh, let v is equal to yeah q is equal to both are uh, represent the velocity of the fluid x i plus x into x minus one 
into y plus 1 j so k components hey nahi to it means the fluid is in 2d okay in 2d find the streamline equation it x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 aapne kya karna hai streamline equation ko find karna hai it x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0 it x is equal to 0 mean and x equal to 0 y equal to 0 mean on the on the uh, pole on the uh, center so uh, given that q is equal to x i plus x into x minus 1 into y plus 1 uh, if we compare with the journal form of q which is u i plus v j plus w k we get the value of u is equal to x value of v is equal to this one and w is equal to 0 and no need to write w okay then the streamline equation become like this the third part is not here because uh, no need to write the third part because the fluid is in two dimension okay so uh, dx uk value put curly x or vk value put curly y uh, and now let's go home solve karte hai which the question may have any other care in that case form home solve karte hai and to find the equation Okay, similar to our equation type of the house It's a differential equation hey for the streamline equation Okay, uh, now we find the algebraic equation so for that we solve this differential equation how x x is a cancel over here. We get dx is equal to dy by x minus 1 y plus 1 x minus 1 quiz side per shift earlier So yeah, the path is a bunch of a now uh, taking the integral on both side we get taking integral on this and this side we get this kind integral x square divided by 2 minus x plus c naught constant or this kind integral log of y plus 1 plus c1 i see not go is hyperfocal to c1 minus c naught and ye dono constant hai to iske subtraction ye addition se bhi constant aayega and we call them capital c now this is the capital C and now this represent a streamline equation okay but what is the value of what will be the value of C so for that for uh, that we put uh, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we get the value of C so jaha x na zara hai wang par bhi 0 put kar le y bhi 0 put kar le so ye side bhi 0 ho jayega ye log 1 a jayega log 1 is also equal to 0 so the value of C is equal to 0 hence uh, the streamline equation become like this one well, c ki value 0 and uh, taking exponential on both sides we get exponential you don't cancel so y plus 1 into equal to e power x squared by 2 minus x basically the streamline equation at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so dear student it is enough for today inshallah in next lecture we continue the same phenomena uh, for the uh, other fluid model okay so at that time best of luck